Now after understanding the basic concepts of mechanisms, let's talk about the kinematics of mechanisms. In this, we'll talk about two things. We'll talk about the velocity analysis and we'll talk about the acceleration analysis. Now the velocity analysis is done with the help of two methods. The first method is the one that you see in the board, that is the relative velocity method or in short RVM. So the first method as I told you is RVM or a relative velocity method. The second one is the instantaneous center method or ICM. Okay, so we'll start with the first one that is the relative velocity method or RVM in this particular video. We'll build up concepts for the uh, con this uh, particular method and then we'll move on to the next one that is the instantaneous center method. And after these two methods, we will then move on to the next analysis that is the acceleration analysis. Okay, so let us start with the current topic and talk about the RVM. So let us say you have a link over here and on this link you have two points. You have point A and point B. And on this very link you have another point C which is in line with the two points A and B. Now this link is rotating in a clockwise direction with an angular velocity omega. Okay, distance between A and B is R and A and C is R1. Now the velocity of point B with respect to point A or in general the velocity of any point on a link with respect to the other point on the same link will be perpendicular to that direction or to that link. So if you talk about the uh, you know velocity of point B with respect to point A it will be in this particular direction and denoted as VBA. So this velocity will be perpendicular to the line joining the two points A and B. Similarly if you talk about the velocity of point C with respect to point A this will also be perpendicular to the line joining the points C and A. Okay, so if you write down VBA, this is omega into the distance between the two points. Okay, similarly if I write down VCA, this is omega into AC. Alright, so if you find the value for omega from here, Omega is equal to V B A into A B and from here also I can get Omega is equal to V C A into A C. Okay, so I can draw or I can I can uh, draw a conclusion from here that these two are equal, isn't it? So this is not into this is upon V C A upon A C. Alright, so these two are equal, so I can say that VBA upon AB is equal to VCA upon AC and further we can write down as VBA upon VCA is equal to AB upon AC. Alright, now if you take the same thing forward onto this particular example, so this is a link AB. On the link you have another point C. Now we know that the velocity of point A is in a vertically upward direction and the value is VA and this is VB, the direction or the, or the velocity of point B. Now you must note down over here that this is not with respect to some other point. Similarly for this, means this or these two velocities are not with respect to each other, these are with respect to a constant or a fixed point let us say O in this case. Okay, So whenever you have a single velocity like VA, VB, VC this is with respect to a single point or a fixed point O. Okay, So we usually do not write VBO or VOB we just write VB. Okay, So this is with respect to the origin. Okay, So we have to draw a velocity diagram out of it and we know that the velocity of point B with respect to point A would be perpendicular to this link and VB is not perpendicular to the link AB. Alright, so let us uh, try and draw a velocity diagram out of it. 
So let's have a fixed point over here. So this is the origin that I'm talking about. From this, I'll draw a VA perpendicular or a vertically upward line like this. So this would be a vector giving you VA. Okay, now VB is also known to us, but I don't know the magnitude of this. So I just know the, know the direction of it. I know the magnitude and direction for VA, but I only know the direction of VB. Okay, so I'll draw a straight line like this. I don't know where to cut it. Okay, so this would be my VB. So I, just, I know this much that the velocity of point B with respect to point A is perpendicular to the link. Similarly, the velocity of point A with respect to point B would be, again be perpendicular to the same link. So I'll draw a line which is perpendicular to the link from point A like this. So where it cuts the horizontal line, you will have your point B. With respect to O, we know it is VB. Alright, and this would be VBA. VBA. So, in a very simplistic manner, I can say that VBA plus VA is equal to VB. Okay. So, this is the link AB and this is the velocity of point B with respect to point A. If the arrow was in this direction, then it, I would have written VAB. That is the velocity of point A with respect to point B. Okay. Now, there is one more task on hand. We have to calculate the velocity of point C. How do we do that? So, first of all, we need to see that in what proportion is point C dividing this entire link. Okay, so I would have to, let us say, I don't know that from what, at what distance do I have to cut a point C? I don't know that. So, let us say that is AC upon the entire length AB. This is proportional to AC upon AB. Now, I know AC, I know AB. And with this diagram, I also know the value of AB, small AB. So, from this equation, I can calculate small ac, which will be small ab into capital AC upon capital AB. So, this is known to us. So, from this calculation, I can strike off a point C from A onto this line. And if I draw this line, this would give me Vc. Alright, so this would give me Vc and if I draw a line, which is in this direction. So, this would give me VCA. That is the velocity of point C with respect to point A and this is the velocity of point C with respect to the origin. So, this becomes the velocity triangle for this particular configuration. Okay. So, this is how we look at the uh, velocities of a link or of various points on a link with the help of the relative velocity method. So, I hope you have understood that how have we drawn this particular velocity triangle. Now, let us take the same concept forward to the next video and talk about, uh, you know, another case of RVM where we find out the velocities of points on the same link.